Moving next to, this is exciting, the Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty story expansion. We got to see some new gameplay throughout the past week. This is a new spy thriller expansion to the original Cyberpunk 2077. The release is on PC, according to Steam, on September 25th. For PlayStation 5 on September 26th, according to the PlayStation Store, the game will be available for Xbox Series X and S. The game will not be available for last-gen consoles, based on what the details on the Phantom Liberty site provide. This is developed and published, is in development, and will be published by CD Projekt Red. Let's talk about the trailer and what we know so far from what we observed. There's an orbital shuttle, Space Force One, with the President of the United States. The shuttle is shot down, gentlemen, overnight, within the deadliest of districts. And I'm going to be very dogmatic when I tell you what district this is. Dogtown. The district of Dogtown. It's a combat zone. It's walled off. It's located east of the Pacifica sub-districts of Coastview and West Wind Estate. So if you are an eccentric cyberpunk fan like myself, you can go and look at your map and figure out where exactly this is for all of those that have maps out there of Metro City. The Barguest gang or faction, they are the ones that control Dogtown. And there's only one person that can save the president. Derek, Brian, who is it? Who can save the president? No idea. It's you. It's you. (laughs) You play as V. You're the only one. Imagine that. You're the only one that can save the president, which means you have to buy the expansion and the original game, the initial game. If you didn't, because again, president needs saving. She's in trouble. You need to save her. The story Was that of- woman with this so, running around so with the AK. I, I, I personally disagree with this, to be honest, because after the debacle that was the launch of this game, I feel like they owe everybody a free expansion. And that like, is a, like the glitches yeah. were so bad, people returned to this game. Yeah, even on the PlayStation Store, they so so took it why down. so why on earth w- would you would you require me to to pay for an expansion to a game that so many people returned? That that seems that seems a little backwards to me, and I, I think CD Projekt Red is is trying to avoid bankruptcy at this point. Interesting thoughts. Interesting thoughts. The game, <clears throat> I will say, it has come a long way. The You are correct. The launch, it was a mess. It, it did not play well. I, w- I played it on PC myself. It, it did better on PC than the other platforms, PlayStation 5 or the Play, PlayStation, excuse me. They they had they had some trouble with this. They probably had more trouble than anyone with with it than even on Xbox. So I think charging for it, they want you to look at how far they've come compared to where they were. That would be my answer. And then there's also so Keanu Reeves. Issue- He's he's back. So my, my my other issue with this though is it's like okay, so you your whole point to this was to have multiple endings, right? But now you're saying that all of these alternate endings that people were getting that had a a a you know ending where Johnny's in space or Johnny's you know doing or V's in space or V's you know wherever you know you're invalidating all of those endings with this expansion, saying oh yeah V now you got to save the president. Like, does this happen before the last mission? Does it happen after the last mission? Like, I, I, I don't get why I should have to pay to, to have a interim story or a story that they've now chosen an ending for me and now they're continuing. Otherwise, what was the point of the other endings? That, that just pisses me off. Well, what I can do, Brian, is I can get it and I can play the story and I can tell you exactly where it is and then 
you make that determination. I might just, All I it might just give like it to it's you. like Cyberpunk 2077, now with 20% less dildos around on the ground. Yeah, there, there were there were quite a few of those. I, I will say it was hard <laughs> not to find one in the game. Yeah, there, I mean, there was there was at least one store, I can tell you. And I didn't even know what the store was. I went in there and went, wait a minute, what what store is this? I wasn't looking for this type of store. Derek, cyberpunk, how do you how do you feel about cyberspace? And living in Metro City and getting augmentations in the biological age. Uh, uh, um, yeah, it's not for me. Not for you? Not at all. No, and no. I never played this game ever. You don't want cool arms that extend out? No. Super strength? No. no. I like heart. Being... No. No, thanks. Well, Brian, maybe I can convince you with this de <clears throat> detail. Excuse me. Idris Elba is in this one. He plays as Solomon Reed. He's an experienced FIA agent. He's adept with covert intelligence. There he is right there. And he's also adept with intelligence missions. He's skilled at extracting information from spies and net runners. And another character you might want to know about is... Myers, who's going to be our president and is a former CEO of Militech. So that's an interesting relationship there that the president is a former CEO of Militech. Brian, that may explain the endings for us and how they correlate. And she is in her third term, from what I understand here. Some additions to Cyberpunk expansion here. They're brand new radio stations. The radio stations were, were fun to listen to in the original game. And so 89.7 Growl FM will include 12 to 15 tracks. And these were submitted by Cyberpunk 2077 players. So that's awesome that those songs will be on that radio station. And then there's going to be a Night City independent community radio station that will be hosted by DJ Ash and voiced by influencer Sasha Gray. So for, for those that have stayed with the, the series, or excuse, not the series, but stayed with the game and the updates for the game, wait, this is wait, very wait, exciting. Wait, 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 Okay, here we, here we go. Here we go. Brian's <laughs> this... not going to let me be excited for this game. Is this, is this, is this the Sasha Gray that I think it is? I do. I did not bring my notes on Sasha Gray with me, but we can <laughs> okay. we can we can hold take up, a moment here and look at, for a second. And I'm going to do some research. I'm going to be back to you in 2.5 seconds. All right, that's fine, Derek. How do you feel about Sasha Gray? Uh, I don't. I don't know who that is. We need. We need the. This is why. This is why we need more people on the show. So I could just turn my head and say, "Hey, do a quick, quick search here. I need. I need notes. I need information." We'll give it a moment, and we can enjoy this awesome, <laughs> awesome footage here captured for Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty expansion. At the Xbox Game Show. I was right. Oh, wait. Okay. We have information. All right. Brian, tell us about Sasha Gray. Ass. Influencer by ass. It's ex porn star slash current Twitch streamer Sasha Gray. All right, I I will say, I will say that the way the sources described Miss <laughs> Gray was with the word influencer. So I felt this is appropriate. Let's describe her as an influencer. But yep, that is. You can look in the <laughs> sources for the show. And see that, yes, voiced by influencer Sasha Gray is going to be on the Ooh. Night City Independent Community Radio Station. Based on what the channel has collected. So I guess, so maybe Brian, have, have I won you over? Are, are you going to buy the expansion now? 
I don't know about all that. He's going on. He's going on Steam. He's looking it up. He says, "Can I spend? Can I spend this? I'll give you a gift card, Brian. I'll send send a gift card. It's around that time. What is it? It's September. All right. Yeah, I'll do it because I need you to play all the possible endings that this expansion may have. If there is more than one ending, I don't know. And then tell me about them. I might play it. Might play. Okay. All right. Well, we we talk, See, I, Derek, I had no idea. I just went, hey, Sasha Gray. Nice name. Let's include that tidbit on the channel. Little did I know. Little did I know that that name was going to be the winning feature here to convince my brother Brian to get the expansion. And and maybe that's maybe that was the the part. You know, someone oblivious like me that's just captured by the gameplay. Oh yeah, need to need to pick this up, but Brian, eh. And then oh, Sasha Gray. Okay. Well, now I have to. Derek, any other thoughts? Uh I do like the idea of multiple endings. That's pretty cool. The initial one did have that. The initial game. Brian, was it five or six? I'm trying to remember. I can't recall off the top of my head. Let us know in the comments if you if you remember. But there are multiple. I do That's not know for cool. this one. At, at least the channel has not uncovered that yet. It wasn't mentioned at the... Okay. Xbox showcase that there would be multiple endings. So okay. we will we will have to see. But if there is an update on that, we will we will provide it on updates to come. And that is going to be our update for Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty expansion. 